How are you? Good? How is everything? How was your day? I wasted my day all day on Facebook today. Do you like that? Do you go on Facebook? Don't you love that? It's like a high school yearbook that can talk back to you. It's great. And I found the girl that took my virginity on Facebook a couple days ago. How sweet is that, dude? It's fucking sweet, right? Because her vagina was like my first bike, you know? It was uh, bright red and a little bit too big for me. And uh, my dad had to hold my hips steady at first because I kept falling off of it. And uh, I put a playing card in one of the flaps so it sounded like a motorcycle. <laughs> Eventually, an older boy stole it from me. <laughs> so I kept my next one safely chained up in my garage. <laughs> you keep your... So, do you guys, this ever happen to you? Do you have your friends? You know people email disgusting videos to each other? as a joke now, like two girls, one cup. You remember that, right? Yeah, we all, I think this is worse. My buddy texted me a picture of a guy getting fisted to my phone a few days ago. Yeah, as a joke. I hope, I hope that was a joke. I hope that wasn't some kind of wish you were here postcard from a disgusting vacation. Because I never saw that before, okay? I heard of it, but nothing can prepare you for when you see what that is. I didn't even know what to make of it at first. At first, I just thought it was a picture of a really horrible fight. And I was like, oh my God, is someone gonna break this up? Because there's been a terrible accident. This one guy has one hell of an uppercut, I'll tell you that. I think he's really made his point. <laughs> Such a great job. Do you guys, uh, did you see the bodies exhibit? Do you like that, bodies? I won't go to that, because it creeps the hell out of me. Because it's made out of bodies, you fucking weirdos. Do you know that? This is how it's described to me. Somebody told me an artist skinned all these bodies, right? And then he chops them up and injects them with plastic to preserve them. And then they're like all posed for you to like look inside them. Which, like, I was like, did they catch that guy? That sounds like a crime. I'm like, no, totally legal. And uh, all the bodies are Chinese prisoners. That's where they get the bodies. There's a little disclaimer when you go in there, like, in case you give a shit, uh, some Chinese guy was caught Googling the word freedom. And uh, now he's in three pieces, like he's playing ultimate frisbee, but you know. Come on in and laugh at his small dick. That's what you're gonna do, right? <laughs> oh, you know why this is such a great job? Because this is all I do, man. Everybody told me to get a job, right? You, know, you don't be a comedian, you gotta get a job and a 401k, whatever the hell that is. I don't even know. And now the economy sucks and you're all fucked and I'm awesome. <laughs> I was a loser before this happened. There's been no change in my life. My biggest concerns in life is I gotta remember which of my two towels I jerk off in and which one I use as an actual towel. That's it. And yes, sometimes I come out of the shower and I realize too late I made the wrong choice again. That's a small price to pay, lady. <laughs> You're gonna really do this. Uh, I used to live in Brooklyn above this African store that sold like art and herbs and stuff like that. And uh, you know, that's not weird, but this is very weird. They had a sign, I'd see it every day coming home, a sign that said African supplies, which like, what do you think that is? That cannot be good. When do you restock your African supplies? <laughs> like, all right, I'm gonna need a machete <laughs> with blood and hair on it. I'm gonna need an arm uniform for a five-year-old. <laughs> I'm gonna need a sharp rock to circumcise my daughter. <laughs> you guys into racial date here? You're pretty cool, right? Kind of open. Yeah. My first girlfriend my whole life. I'm way into that, dude. I was, uh, I was in Jersey City, my first girlfriend, Puerto Rican, and uh, very traditional. Puerto Rican, and by that I mean she did not shave her bush at all. That's what, 
Yes. The maximum a Puerto Rican could grow. It was like three pounds of brush to get through. I know, how do you even approach something like that? I decided to give it a noogie as best I could. Now come here, Puerto Rican. And uh, she had a kid, another Puerto Rican tradition. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to apologize for a lot of this tonight. And then I was trying to date this Greek girl. Yeah. Here's the thing, I don't think that's interracial, but Greek people, you seem to think that. What is your problem? <laughs> if you're not Greek and you date one of their women, these people go crazy. Because I guess you have a very important house smell that you have to preserve at all costs or something. I would think having a grandkid with two eyebrows would be a little bit of a higher priority, but what do I know, right? Now, I'm a little bit hurt by it, actually, okay? Because I was putting aside my racism about dating a girl with sideburns, basically, and it turns out her dad's more racist against me. Can you imagine that? Some fucking diner monkey from ass fuck island? <laughs> I'm really sorry about that remark. That's way... It's because I had one bad experience to refer to an entire group of people as diner monkeys from ass fuck island. That's a little... I, listen, my message is positive though, okay? I have a good-hearted message. I'm just saying, you have to mix with other people. That's all I'm saying, you know? Don't stick with your own kind. That's inbreeding. Do you understand what that is? If you're 100% something, you're inbred. You have to fix that. Do you ever drive to the middle of America or the South where we keep our fattest white people? Where, how do you think they got like that? because they didn't want any black sperm near their white women, and they should have taken a little bit of it just for some muscle tone or a tan or something. <laughs> and now you drive down there, you're like, why do all these people look like boiled fucking ham? Because <laughs> they're inbred. <laughs> oh, you guys are really awesome, I appreciate it. Take care, enjoy this new show. I'm 28 years old, and I'm in show business. So, you know, if things go well, my wife hasn't even been born yet. Really, I want to be so rich that when I say, yo, brother, what's up? I'm not saying hello, I'm asking, what are you doing in my neighborhood? <laughs>